Hello, I'm Piyush Kutari. Today I'd like to demonstrate the artificial intelligence techniques image classification using deep learning assignment which was based on recognizing human emotions based on facial expression of humans. So here uh, as we can see I used Visual Studio Code as my IDE. Uh, then I imported some uh, libraries uh, like Keras and then layers uh, like dense dropout, activation, flatten, batch normalization, convolution 2D and max pooling layers. I set the number of classes to 7 as I had 7 emotions. Uh, size 48 by 45 and batch size as 28. I used training and validation data from Kegel. Uh, then uh, to train the data, I used image generator with uh, these parameters. Uh, it'll zoom in, zoom out, uh, height, and it'll change height and width and train the uh, neural network. And then uh, uh, for a validation, I just uh, uh, used a data generator for rescaling. Um, uh, the uh, color mode was set to grayscale and size and uh, target size and batch size was mentioned above and class mode as categorical as we have more than uh, two emotions uh, same for validation data and then uh, use our sequential model uh, i use uh, i have eight uh, blocks of neural network in first block uh, uh, in first to fifth block uh, there are uh, same uh, layers which are conversion 2d activation batch normalization uh, which are to uh, used twice and then max pooling and dropout layer uh, in first block, uh, the convolution 2D, uh, the two layers of convolution 2D have 34 3 by uh, 32 3 by 3 filters. In second layer, the 64 3 by 3 filters. In third, it's 128. Fourth, it's 256. And the activation, uh, and fifth, it's uh, 512 3 by 3 layers. And the activation was set to ELU function. And dropout was 0 0.2. Uh, in blocks, is there was a flatten layer, dense layer. Activation was set as ELU function and then dropout was 0 0.5. Uh, in seventh block, uh, activation layer was ELU and then dense layer and dropout. And at the end, uh, uh, eighth uh, block, uh, there was dense layer and then softmax was set as activation function. And then uh, at the end, it just printed the model summary. Then, uh, uh, as optimizers, there was RMS prop as zero and Adam and uh, callback function as model segment early stopping and. Uh, uh, reduce LR on platform. It was saved as emotional little uh, VGG uh, file and uh, then checkpoint early stopping and reduce uh, were, are mentioned here with patients of 3 and then later they were called back. Uh, model compile uh, used a categorical cross entropy and then training samples were around 29,000, uh, validation were around 7,000 and epochs were set to 100 and history uh, variable was set as model fit with all the above parameters calling them back. Uh, when uh, ran this command, uh, it gave out uh, the model summary and then it went on to run for uh, 86 epochs. Uh, when uh, the validation loss did not uh, improve, then it stopped running uh, because the early stopping uh, callback function. Uh, and, and as we can see, there was 77% training accuracy and 58% validation accuracy. Uh, the graph for uh, validation accuracy was this. Model accuracy graph was something like this, uh, which improved till the end. The model loss decreased till the end, and the model uh, validation loss was something like this. At the end, uh, we have a program for capturing the image. Of, uh, we used a video capture as we were um, using uh, the webcam, and there were seven emotions angry, disgust, fear, happy, neutral, sad, and surprise. Uh, the rectangular area of interest was set using these parameters and the prediction used this code and uh, then when we pressed Q it used to just quit the program. So when we um, run this command a python, uh, open, a python file opens uh, which will capture the image using the webcam. Uh, I'll show the images on, I'll show the images on my phone and it will classify the emotions uh, so as we can see uh, this is surprised this is happy uh, sh uh, that is fear uh, he's surprised this is angry this is disgust so as we can see um, uh, I use the uh, neural network to, uh, to train the data and uh, uh, track the human emotions based on facial expression it was not 100% accurate that's why we got the as we can see uh, the accuracy percentage was 77% um, yeah uh, thank you that was my uh, artificial intelligence assignment